What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's certainly been a while, but we have a GPU driver update from Lenovo finally for the Legion Go. So we can get caught up and have an official driver that actually works well on the device. This has certainly been one of the biggest issues that plagues the Legion Go, especially now in 2025, is having such sparse updates coming from Lenovo for the GPU drivers and a lot of users just having to either figure it out themselves or deal with using the older official driver. So we're going to take a look here and check it out. Now I am on the current driver, which is December dated for 2024. That's 24.202601 there for that driver. And that came out in January of this year in 2025 from Lenovo. Now, if you're checking for the new driver update for right now at time of putting up this video, it's only available over on the China website. It doesn't show up here for me in Legion Space yet and it doesn't show up over on the US support site yet either so if we look over here on US support site it is still um, for the January update and if I jump over to the China site which I have translated here uh, it is the newer driver so I always suggest you wait till it comes out in your region and make sure everything's good or they don't pull it down for some reason but I will put a link to this site as well if you want to check it out but this should be the official driver that we're getting now to get us updated on the Legion Go and it should roll out over the next few days to everybody if it follows the normal path. Now I'm just going to go ahead and install this as normal since I am on the official uh, driver now. All I have to do is double click my download, accept and install here and it's just going to go through and install the new driver. Once we're done that we're going to do a restart and check for our update to the Radeon software but we'll get in to that part. So anyways it goes through, does its little install process here. Once it's finished up it's going to give you the prompt. This is usually what happens when you just manually install the official drivers here. And then we're going to go ahead and restart the device real quick. Now, once I restart, I'm going to go right into the Microsoft Store and go into my downloads because typically that's going to be an automatic update in here for the AMD Radeon software. I know sometimes some of you guys have trouble getting that to pop up or update. I never really have any help for that because I've never had that problem in the dozens of times that I've done this with this device. So it's just something I've never run into. But you can see here it's popping up the update here for me with the new driver that we downloaded and installed. And now we can open up the new Radeon software and see the new driver here. So we'll open that up and we're now at 25.10.2001, which is a uh, July day driver for July 1st, which brings us up about eight months, almost newer than where we were, which is certainly welcome to see here. It's been a long time coming here for Legion Go to get an official GPU driver update. And because I did come from the official update before in the official driver, all my resolutions are fine. Everything works as it's supposed to. If you're coming from a side loaded driver or something else you've done to the device, this may or may not work right. You may have to factory reset or fix the registry or something like that. But I've never run into those types of issues. But that's pretty much what we're looking at. The new driver should be rolling out everywhere and catching us up here on the Legion Go. And again, something we've definitely been waiting for. Now, I took a quick look at a couple of games side by side, but I didn't really get into a lot this time in this video. Cyberpunk, for instance, for the most part, runs the same typical performance. It's a pretty well optimized game for these handhelds at this point. There may have been times that the newer driver was ahead by a little bit or did a little better or something but for the most part similar to same performance which i kind of expected here but there are, the driver updates can really affect different games uh, a lot up or down or better performance or worse quite often but you can see here for cyberpunk not uh nothing's broken or everything's running right there for that getting into some open world stuff same thing here again maybe sometimes it would seem like the newer driver did a little better on here but for the most part similar to same performance which i expected but at least nothing nothing's broken or worked there from them a quick look at mafia side by side and for the most part it's the same too again there's times i felt like an fps or two here or there that the new driver did a little better which i would expect with the amount of updates coming to it here but nothing major so that's pretty much all i looked at as far as those kind of games but something else i did run into the past couple of weekends uh was trying to play the battlefield 6 beta which i wasn't able to do on the legion go at least not the drivers i was using um you needed some fairly new ones for that so you would always get the prompt that you weren't able to run it so with installing this driver we're not going to have that problem anymore it is able to launch into the beta so hopefully when the game actually launches in october even if we don't get another update hopefully that that game along with others will run and work properly like we want them to so at least that's a lot of benefits coming here from this gpu driver update it's something again very welcome to see here from lenovo something we've needed for a while and i wanted to cover it here and show you guys and if you haven't seen it come out yet just watch for it to roll out in your area legion space or the support website and you should be able to grab it soon if you don't want to jump over and get it from the other site all right guys as always thanks a lot for coming to check out the video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one